Hello everyone. Uh, okay, here we go. So Oh, I'm so sorry, Sue. I hope that he's okay. Whatever, whatever it is, I hope. So as you guys can see, the sun really hasn't come up yet. <laughs> see here. I tried to adjust the lighting. Just by changing a few things. Oh my goodness. Hello. That might help a little bit, but honestly, I can... So this might be, <laughs> excuse me, I'm not used to um, talking yet either. This might be an issue going forward. Hello, hello Joe Beth, Caroline, Helen, Emily. Okay, let me take a drink, hold on. I woke up not too long ago, but I haven't talked yet today. <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. So, um, we started last time getting rid of the black outlines. But, um, I was going to do it off camera. I was going to finish this off camera and show you guys, um, just the ending bit. But a couple of people contacted me and said... Please, please, don't do it off camera. <laughs> no worries, look away. That's no problem. <laughs> oh, did you, Emily? Yeah, it's earlier for you out there, isn't it? It's 7 a.m. here, which is not bad. I woke up actually about an hour ago, but... Um, well, hello, Sharon. Welcome. Thank you for lurking. Mm -hmm. Painting your coffin, Heather. Well, that's different. <laughs> 4 a.m., Joe Bath. Go back to bed. You can catch this later. You don't, you guys never feel obligated to stay up or get up early on my account, please. There will be plenty of other moments where you guys can chat with me. Um, speaking of that, tomorrow I have a video coming out. It's uh, it's on Premiere, so it's actually a pre-recorded video. Um, if you guys don't know what Premieres are on YouTube, it is a pre-recorded video. So the editing is actually already done. But I'm going to launch it as a premiere, so you guys will be able to chat live while you're watching it for the first time. Um, that's going to happen tomorrow. Oh, I'm so sorry you can't sleep, Joe Beth. Well, I'm happy to keep you company if you can't sleep, but please do never, never feel the need to stay. Oh, here we go. We've got Kitty coming. Okay, apps. Hi, cutie. All right, so while we wait for the sun to come up. I hope it comes up soon, and I'm so sorry, <sighs> I mean, I, you know, I can't control the sunlight. Oh, abs, okay, sorry guys, you went on a little ride there. Um, yeah, Abby Cat, here, let's, uh, let me take you off the stand, because she's just going to bump it. Here we go. <laughs> Abby girl, you here to say hi to everybody? Hi everybody. She is wide awake. Uh, is it, are you done? Of course not, of course not, she says. I'm never done, I'm the star of the show, ma. <laughs> hi. Thanks, Helen. So we're just waiting for the sun to come up. I don't know if it's going to, though. It's so gray and gloomy today. So hopefully, 
hopefully it will get brighter. Um, otherwise I might just have to work with this lighting. Um, but yeah, you're itchy, huh? So for those of you who aren't aware, Abby has seasonal allergies really badly. So that's why she has this bald spot where she itches herself really bad. I try to keep her from doing it, but you know how kitties are. They're, they're going to do what they want to do. So she scratched herself a little right here. But she's okay. Right, Ab? <laughs> you okay? Um, <laughs> welcome. Let's see, we've got Miss Behaving. <laughs> I love your username. That's Sahara. We've got Sharon, Helen, Joe Beth. Thank you all for staying and sticking around. We've got Karen Black. Thank you for coming. Yeah, it's, a, it's tough for pets with allergies. Now, this side isn't too bad. But, yeah, she's she's doing okay, though. She takes um, Zyrtec, and that helps her a lot. But during the season, I'm itching her all the time for her. I, I try and make sure to brush her every day, and that helps a lot with the itchiness. So, right up. You doing better, though? Hmm? <laughs> So hopefully, hopefully it gets brighter. Guys, I don't know what to say. This is, I can't control the sunlight. So on the channel, um, the next purchases that I will make are going to be equipment, especially lighting equipment. Look, she's checking herself out. That's so funny. Um. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Kathy, did you get my email? I emailed you, I think. We're just waiting for the sun to come up. Or the the sky to get bright. Um, if if this is an issue though, um I may either come back later today or um I mean I, I really can't work like this. It's it's too muddy a color. Oh good, okay. I just wanted to make sure I remembered. <laughs> uh huh. So, so what are you painting, Heather? You said you're painting a coffin? Oh, there she goes. Okay. Now I can mount you guys back up and not worry about jumping the, jumping the camera around too much. Can you guys see? I just, you know, I can't really see too well. I think the camera's adjusting to the light. goodness what a morning thank you to oh a toy coffin for spooktober okay now I feel a little better Heather for a second there I was just like oh well. <laughs> no oh wow that's a cool idea Heather <laughs> very cool I loved your felted bunny I've watched it I think a couple times actually because I just couldn't believe it um, that was so cool if you guys haven't seen it Heather's um, she took one of the coloring pages and felted it which I have never seen before I didn't even know that was a thing I mean I knew that there was felting but I didn't realize you could take like Let's see if I can, um, color. Um, I was blown away. And then I started looking at Heather's other stuff and realized that she's done it a bunch of times before. Um, but I was just so shocked. Here, here it is. So this is the one that I was talking about. You guys got to check this out. If my live stream doesn't get better, um, then at least you can go watch Heather. 
Oh, thank you, Karen. I really appreciate it. Yes, that will go towards the light. Um, we are, I've been saving up and um, we are going to get new lighting first and then hopefully um, in the same round we'll also get a new camera so that way you guys, um, you know, we can get fancy and you guys can see my face more. Abby girl, where are you going now? Oh, you gonna take my seat? Oh my gosh. Guys, why do cats do this? She, now she's on my chair. What are you, what are you gonna do? You gonna take the whole chair? Huh? She's so funny. Anyway, thank you so much, Karen. Um, that, you guys, you don't have to feel the need to donate money. I really, we're, we're just, uh, you know, we're gonna improve the channel over time as we go. Um, you know, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, but, um, do not feel the, uh, the need to donate if you, um, <laughs> so sweet though. Thank you. Now, if only we could get Abby to move out of my chair and the sun to come up, we'll be good. Um, <laughs> come on. Okay. You know what? Sorry. Come on. There we go. Um, the ascending sunshine. I'm looking at add the screen and it looks okay. What what does it look like to you guys? What can like I know it's dark for me, but I think the camera is adjusting to make it brighter. <laughs> oh it no, it, I no, Karen, don't even say that. It it means so much to me. Even every little penny adds up. So, um, it is a lot to me. It means a lot to me that you guys donate to the channel. It looks okay to you. Yeah, see, I'm looking at it on my screen. It looks okay, but then, like, me in person, it's dark. But, you know, if you guys can see it, I think we can maybe try to get going here. Because I'm just, like, wasting your time. We're just chatting right now. <laughs> um... <laughs> But I think the sun has come up. It looks okay to you too. Okay, then you know what? I think I can work in the dark. <laughs> All right, Ab, you're gonna have to scooch. There we go. Okay, so what we're doing today, you guys can see um, in the last episode where we did this, and I'm sorry we took a break last week. That was for the Belinda um, Challenge live stream. Um, but we're back now, and what I wanna do is finish this up, so. <laughs> here. Um, what I have is um, we did last time we did acrylic. We also did water based so it's like watercolor but it's called gouache and we also used the Dr. PH Martin's bleed proof white. Now um, I, I myself prefer to work with the acrylic paint. Um, that's what we were using on her face to kind of slowly get rid of. Okay, it looks okay to you guys. <clears throat> okay, then you know what? I'm not too worried about um, about whether or not it looks okay to me because as, as long as it looks okay to you guys. <laughs> so funny. Oh my goodness. Um, so uh, what I want to do now is just, um, someone requested, actually a couple of people requested that I not do the rest off camera because you guys have been following along with me and um, you want to uh, watch how I do the whole thing. That's totally fine and thank you so much to those of you who have reached out to me. Um, your feedback on this channel is really what helps me grow and improve as a YouTuber and as a teacher. So, um, yeah, so I appreciated that. So let's get going. I'm going to use, we were using, I believe, um, I can't remember exactly, but I believe we were using acrylic. I don't know, though. It kind of feels like gouache, actually. <laughs> I should have watched myself back because it's been a while. Um. Now, what do you guys want to see? I think I'm just going to use acrylic just because it's easy. It 
could have been acrylic too. Um, I know the face we were using acrylic because we were mixing colors. So um, I, I definitely want to go through the whole face. Let, let's focus on that. The rest of this is a lot less simple. So um, the first color I'm grabbing is my titanium white and I'm going to just pile it up. Um, and it, I just have like an old lid. I like to recycle items as much as possible. So I have here an old lid and you can see I was actually painting on this with a different piece, I think, or maybe it was this piece, I'm not sure. So we're going to just add some weight to that. Oh, thank you, Sahara. Yeah. How was your vacation? You went to London, right? Or the UK? That's so cool. Oh, I would I would love to go to London someday. All right, and then the next color I'm grabbing is Burnt Sienna. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So, are you guys coloring? And if you're coloring, what are you coloring? Because I'm nosy like that. And then we're going to also grab the Quinacridone Crimson. Yeah, that's so cool. How was it? I saw your post on the airplane. <laughs> you look so cute. Oh, man. Okay. And then... We're gonna need... So you guys will notice I'm using mostly primary colors and also um, the burnt sienna. So the next one I'm grabbing is Naples Yellow Hue. Oh, your how to draw nameplate. Oh my gosh, Emily. So I'll be doing some videos too of me drawing out of the book. Because <laughs> I think we're all really excited about it. Um, you guys might be like asking yourself, you know, you know, you draw coloring books, why would you need that book? But the thing is, is Joanna draws in a totally different style than I do. And I feel like as an artist and an illustrator, while I may not draw that way for my own, you know, work that I sell, um, learning how to draw in many different styles is a really important skill to have. Um, so even if I may not use that for my own professional, um, like my own coloring pages, I'm, I'm grabbing cerulean blue hue, um, even if I may not use those for my own coloring pages, I still feel it's a really cool um, way to learn how to draw in a more bold graphic style like Johanna does. So, um, you know, I've always been really focused on learning how to draw with pencil and trying to get my images to look as real. You know, my drawings are mostly like fantasy realism. Um, so, you know, learning something new like that, there's nothing wrong with that, and, uh, yeah. Oh, a witch image? Okay, wow, we have a bunch of things. Let's see. Coffee first, then doing a pastel painting. Awesome, Kathy. Um, we've got Zeely. Hi, Zeely. Oh, Ruby Charm. I love her work. She's so cool. Um... Cool, Helen, the witch image, you're ready for um, Spooktober already. So uh, how I keep my palette from drying out, so I can do, I can keep a palette um, moist and ready to work for hours by just misting it regularly every once in a while. So that's what I'm going to do, and when you hear that sound, that's what I'm doing um, off to the side here. So that's my trick. A lot of people are like, my acrylics dried in two seconds, and I can't work with them anymore, um, and I'm wasting paint, and that's my answer to it. So we did this area here, but you can see when the acrylic dries, um, because I add water to it to make it more liquid and easier to move, it does dry somewhat transparent, so we're going to go over it again. I'm not worried about making the exact precise mixtures, but I do know that I was mixing white and burnt sienna together to um, to match the skin tone. So 
Oh, you're coloring a mermaid. Selena Fennec? Fen Fennec? I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering her name. Um, oh yeah, Helen. Oh my gosh. That was so fun to color. So I started that as like an experiment and kind of a joke. Like I didn't think I was going to finish that page. But then, of course, I really got into it and ended up finishing it, so that was really fun. Um, and if those of you who aren't aware, okay, so that's not a match. And, um, sorry, I'm kind of jumping around. Um, those of you who aren't aware of uh, what we're talking about, um, I did, uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing a Gears and Metals tutorial on Thursday. So I'm just going to swatch, okay, yeah, that's way too dark. Too dark for a match. Not too dark in general, but, okay, here we go. Let's try that. Now, remember, acrylic dries one to two shades darker. So if, if it does dry darker, it's really easy to just go over it again. So don't fear if you... If you have that happen to you, the great thing about acrylics is they just layer and layer and layer endlessly. So you can go back and fix anything you need to. But generally, what I try to do is just um, make the paint that I'm putting down just slightly lighter. Just by adding white to mix it brighter. So it'll be slightly lighter than the background that I'm trying to match. And I'm not worried too much about making her skin texture perfect because she is a mermaid and you know she could have bumpy skin that's totally cool but what I'm just aiming for is just to smooth out these circles and make them look less dark um, in contrast to the skin that's under it if that makes sense. Okay, that's great, Helen. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, pickle, it dries one to two shades darker. So depending on the pigment that you have, you know how watercolor, when it dries, it shifts light, lighter. Um, well, acrylic is different. It actually shifts darker, and that's due to the polymer compounds in the paint, I believe. Um, <laughs> let me zoom in too, so that way you guys can see a little better what I'm up to. Um, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, yeah. So when I, when I mix my mixtures, <laughs> um, I try to make them slightly lighter, and then you'll see over time these will dry darker. So that's my trick, and I'm just using a number, what is this, a number eight round, um, it's just a craft brush, nothing fancy, this is called a golden tacon bristle, and um, it's very easy to control, and uh, you can use it for watercolor or acrylic, um, but once you use a brush for acrylic, it really does not go back to watercolor so um, just keep that in mind is um, the acrylic paint changes the way that the brush holds water um, and unfortunately it just doesn't do as well with watercolor after so um, don't be frustrated if your brushes don't perform well after you use them with acrylic so I tend to have a set of brushes only for watercolor and a set of brushes for acrylic and um, I never use my nice watercolor brushes on acrylic paintings. So does anybody have any questions about acrylic paint that I can demonstrate or um, talk about? Because I know we haven't gone through and done a whole lot of painting on the channel, but um, it's something that I'm very comfortable with. So if you guys have any questions, fire away. <laughs> Yes, I do too. I know that they're I know that they're cheap. Yeah, her eyes. So we're gonna actually go through and do some painting on the eyes. Um. So, uh, yeah. 
but I'm happy to do all of this on camera with you guys. If you want me to, to show you start to finish, I thought it would be boring to watch me go over the black outlines, but um, you know, a couple of you asked me to do it, so I'll do it. I figured if you don't want to watch the video, you can always skip, right? You don't have to watch it. Nobody's forcing anybody to watch my stuff, so it's all free. Okay, so that did dry darker, so I'm just lightening it up a little bit. So this takes patience, really, is what, the, what it comes down to. You're going to have to go over things multiple times to get the right color. That's okay. Um, you don't have to be perfect on the first go. Alright, so I'm going to mix up a little bit more here. So I'm just adding titanium white to my burnt sienna. It makes a really, really close match for that. Um, skin tone that we have put down already and the key the key with using paint over your um, color pencils is making sure that you preserve that tooth of the paper that's why I did not burnish I didn't smash down that paper tooth and now that allows the paint something to hold on to so um, there's a lot of ways to go about this, but so many people have asked how to get rid of the black outlines, and I feel like acrylic paint or white gouache or um, some sort of opaque covering um, paint, whatever it is that you prefer, um, I feel like that's the easiest and best way to really get get a painterly look if you're willing um, if you're willing to like sit there and go through it. So I hope that this is interesting to you guys. I'm so sorry. It's going to take me a while to do. Um, but let's see here. Yeah, Jody, you're not alone. I had, when I said on my last stream that I was just going to finish it, um, I had a couple of people, I think, panic a little, and I felt really bad about that. So I was like, never mind, never mind. It's good. We're good. I'm going to finish it on camera. <laughs> so you guys can see from start to finish. Because <laughs> we've done the rest live. So I, I totally get it. You guys are following along. All right, I'm going to let that area dry. And I'm going to move over to her head here, her forehead. Let's get going on this bit. So again, I'm just mixing up some more, let me show you my palette. So I'm mixing up some more burnt sienna, but this time I'm making it just slightly darker. Oh, that's the wrong blob. So the key with color matching, um, I showed you guys on the last video, but in case you guys missed it, is just having a little piece of scrap paper and swatching out the color. So you can see these did dry much darker. So I can guess that this is going to dry somewhere in between these two. So then if I, okay, so that's pretty close to what I'm after. It might be a little too dark, but let's just give it a go and see what happens. fairly close wet so it might need a little bit more white mixed in just to bring it up to the level we are after. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Let's see here. Not boring. Okay. All right. Well, I love you guys too. <laughs> uh huh. Let me just spray my palette. As soon as it starts to dry up a little, that's when you want to give it a good spray. Um. Awesome. Okay, not boring. Got it. See, it's hard to know. To me, this would be boring to watch me do this, but see. Everybody's different, so, and the argument was made to me that people can just skip through, and I was like, totally agree, no problem, enough said.
Alright. Now there's a lot of other ways we can do this. We can um, use white and then um, go over it with color pencil if you're more comfortable doing that way. Uh, for the face, just to keep the texture down, I do like to um, just go right in with the exact color I'm after, right with acrylic paint. Um, if you're trying to go over it with color pencil, then I prefer white gouache. It has a matte texture when it dries. Excuse my voice. Hold on. <coughs> Hi, Loretta. <laughs> Rise and shine, right? <laughs> so happy to start my day with you guys. Uh -huh. And I'm glad you can see, you know, I'm like really close to my page trying to see this. So I, if, it, if this turns out poorly, please, I do apologize, but it is so dark here. Hard to tell what I'm doing. All right, so we have some stuff in this teal area, so we're gonna have to mix up another color. Let me just brighten up. I'm gonna first go through and do all of the ones in this sort of zone, if you will. Um, if the acrylic paint is too thick, what can you use to thin it out, or can you thin it out? No, okay. Yes, yeah, so I thin out my paint all the time. So what you see is um, on my palette, I don't know if you can tell, but I've just sprayed it down again with just this really cheap little mister bottle. I got this at the dollar store, I believe, or at a, um, at a, like a pharmacy, you know, like you can go to the travel section and they usually have these little mister bottles. Um, it sprays a nice fine mist. Now that water will water it down right so when you spray it like that what you're doing is you're mixing water into your paint it's also preventing the paint from drying um, but if that's not enough water on the palette itself as you missed you can also just mix water in so what I do is I just dip my brush in the water and then just add that that um, water that's held on my brush in with the paint you can see it gets really watery now when you water down the paint it does become more like watercolor in that it's less opaque but that's okay because you can layer so you can do one layer and then um, you know once that's dry come back and do another layer to get it to the right opacity so I do tend to like to mix it up to it like a smooth creamy consistency it's a little less um, thick than it comes out of the tube but it's not so thin and watery like this that it's going to take like four or five layers to get the job done so I, it usually takes about two or three layers in this consistency I hope you guys can see so it's sort of like a I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I don't know what consistency I, that is, but that's that's what I'm after. It's just it's watered down and thin and easy to paint with, but it's not so watered down that it's like milky, I guess, or I don't know. <laughs> Does that help? Uh. Okay, Loretta, well, I hope you sleep well. Um, I hope that you feel better. Okay. So, yeah, you can see these have dried somewhat transparent. And luckily with acrylic paint, it dries really quickly. So we can just go right on over these again. Let's add a little more white. I have a lot of paint on my brush, but that's okay. You just don't want it to dry on your brush. Once once it dries, it's it's plastic basically. It's acrylic is an amazing wonder of modern science. <laughs> um, you do not want it to dry on your brush. So, in just a moment, I'm gonna wash all this out and just take a little bit from my. 
And that's just for mixing, that's normal. Mm -hmm. That was a great question, Helen, thank you so much. I'm sure that other people were wondering the same exact thing. Um, yeah, Jobeth, I love them. All right, let's just get all that paint off of my brush so that it doesn't dry. All right, so now that this is dry, we can see exactly how dark it is. You see that? All right. So don't be weirded out if it's a little bit lighter when you put it down. When it dries, it will dry darker and hopefully match fairly decently. Okay, I need to mix more white into this area here. Oh, wait, I've got a circle. Oh, yeah, Emily. <laughs> yep. <laughs> totally agree with that. Uh huh. I don't know what pigment they actually use now, but I'm pretty sure it's not lead paint. So that's good. I'm guessing it's titanium since they call it titanium white. I need more white mixed in, speaking of white. Mm -hmm. So... But what's great is, um, after we're done this page, we're going to be jumping right on into um, another one, and I'm just going to keep going. So every Tuesday morning, we're going to have a series going on, ongoing. It might, it takes however long it takes. I'm not going to fuss about hurrying myself up because that, you guys know I take my time. I really like just unwinding with my coloring pages and not rushing them. Um, so we're just going to do however long it takes. It takes. So the next one coming up is in Villain Son, and it's the cheetah page. So that's pretty exciting. If you guys want to see it, I can show it. Um, we voted for that actually a couple episodes back. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I am messing up a little bit. I really can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> It's funny because it looks so bright to you, but to me, I'm sitting in the dark painting. That's <laughs> so weird. Um, let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. Yeah, it was right. <laughs> uh huh. to layer that up again we're just gonna and it's amazing how much you can go over and over and over the same spot as much as you need to to get the color you're after so if it doesn't work out the first time please do not get frustrated just pack a little patience in there and try again that's all there's no there's no mistakes. We're all just learning as we go. Oh, abs. She goes, but the one big mistake is you're not playing with me, Ma. <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> okay. So I know it seems like she might have some pimples or something, but let's wait and see how they dry. It might dry just the right color, I'm hoping. But this guy here needs to be brightened up, so let's just go ahead and do that. So I just added a little bit of white into the burnt sienna. That's the two colors we've been using so far. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, Sahara. A lot of lead. 
I think they also used zinc though, if I can remember. Okay, so now we're going to mix in a new color. We're going to go along the hairline here. It probably isn't super necessary to do this because it is a darker area and it doesn't stand out to me as much. But just for consistency's sake and to show you how to match that color, <laughs> I'm, um, I'm going to take the cerulean blue hue and let's do it over here. Cutie. I'm going to mix it in with my Naples yellow hue. Okay, that's way too much yellow. Hi, sweetheart. You guys, she's so funny. She's like going after all of her toys and then looking at me like, Mom, did you see that? This is so cute. Alright, so this is a little bit lighter, I think, than the color we want, but that's just perfect knowing that they dry a little darker. Let's see. Oh gosh, Abby, you are so cute. Might be a little too dark, but let's give it a go. So the trick with color matching is just a whole lot of patience, unfortunately. Uh, so let's let's just add in a little bit of white to that, just to kind of. make it the right color <laughs> uh -huh. oh yeah I am I really do consider myself a mixed media artist I use you know before I started coloring I just love to try and actually still I love to try just anything I could get my hands on um, you know used everything from an airbrush to encaustic wax to uh, you know regular acrylic paint oil paint and I can't use oils anymore I'm actually allergic to them now <laughs> developed allergies which is dandy because I love using them okay I'm gonna take the same color that we have here that we were using and I'm gonna go over this can you guys see we're gonna go into the eye now I'm gonna take advantage of this really pretty color and just go over this black outline and just brighten up that edge of her iris there and every time we get rid of an outline where it really stands out you can see it just makes it so much more realistic and people ask me all the time how I managed to get this stuff done there's no secret it's it's mostly paint <laughs> And people use Posca's, that's another way to do it. I mean, Posca is just acrylic paint and a pen, so if that's a more approachable way, um, you're not going to be able to mix the exact color you're after, but um, that is a really nice uh, way of going about it as well. So, um, Hi, Leslie. How you doing? Oh, take care, Emily. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Oh, and thank you last night. I don't know if you're still here. Um, I actually, I got so sucked into my um, doodling. <laughs> I totally missed what you said, but thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys do that. Do you guys like zone out sometimes? I think that's why live streaming can be really tricky because you can't zone out like, well, at least like I'm used to doing <laughs> So while we're on the eyes, actually, let's 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 stay on that for a second. I'm gonna go back in with my color that we mixed up for skin. So it was the titanium white and the burnt sienna, and let's just get rid of this black outline as well. Abby, I know you want to play, sweetheart. You've got plenty of toys over there, though. Um, yeah, yeah, Joe Bath, it really does. And so if I miss anybody in the live stream at any point, please don't be offended. It's because it's just, you know, when you're so used to working. Oh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Abby's playing with her paper bag. I give her paper bags from the grocery store. She that's like the best free kitty toy ever. Um. But, uh, yeah, 
Anyway, don't be upset if I don't see you. <laughs> it's nothing personal. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they were so excited to see you, Sahara. Um, I'm going to take the same skin tone color and just go ahead and go over the top of the eyebrows a little bit just to give kind of a more um, hairy look, I guess. Just to kind of break up some of that big, big shapes here. Kind of lighten up the edge and just soften it a little bit. Since her hair is blonde, you know, we're gonna, let's actually mix in some of that Naples, Naples yellow hue and titanium white. So here's the mix on my palette. Like that. Let's mix in some of that into the eyebrows. So we have like this base that we did. I believe it was just Okay, I need a little bit. See, it's it's not quite the right consistency, so I need a little bit of water mixed in. So let's just do that really quick. A little bit softer. There we go. Now this will dry a, a little bit transparent because I've put water in. That's okay because we do want some of that brown to pick up from underneath. So me just having experience and knowing how these work, that's, that's what I'm drawing on here to do them. I do want some of that brown to show through on the very underside of her eyebrow, but we want to bring her more into the blonde range for her eyebrow, just so it doesn't look like kind of like a mismatch like she's dyed her hair so let's see how that dries and go on over to this guy and I'm just following the strokes of Hannah's uh, pen lines okay let's see Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Uh huh. <laughs> he didn't knock you over. That's cute. Okay, so I'm just adding in some texture and some brush strokes. So you can see it's already dried transparent so I'm just going to go over just the top again so you can see it's just it just takes some patience <laughs> and um, you know if we go too light that's okay too we can go back over it Like over here, I believe it's a little too light. So I'm just going to mix in some of my burnt sienna. So I get like this really nice, creamy, orangey, brown, yellowy color. Mm -hmm. That's the technical term. Because this side of the face is in the shadow. Okay. And now I'm going to mix up a lighter color here, just so it doesn't feel like a big mass. This is almost white, but there's some, some of that um, Naples yellow mixed in. So I feel like this, these eyebrows are the hardest to make realistic because she does put a lot of line work in so that we have to then take out. But if you have the patience for it, you can get it to look fairly good. I 
Okay, let's see how that dries. It might need to be a little bit darker, but we'll see. Once we see the hair with it, um, right now it's sort of blending into the face. And I feel like it needs more yellow as well. So maybe actually... Oops. Sorry, I'm being fussy, guys. This is tricky. I don't think I've ever done blonde eyebrows before either, so that's something new. <laughs> so that paint that I put down just a second ago I felt was a little too bright so I'm just lifting it by just a, a wet brush now let's go in with the Naples yellow because I think this is a great match let's just double check Okay, yeah, we need a little white mixed in. Aww. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Yes, Sahara, we did miss you. Especially missed you in the chat, hanging out. Okay. Now in this darker area here, I'm going to just mix in more of the Naples yellow. So white now, just more of a color to it. So you guys can see, I make plenty of mistakes. It's just about being patient enough to fix them, not being frustrated if they don't, if things don't go right the first time. That's all. And that's normal. People are human. We we all make mistakes. So. Expecting yourself to be perfect on the first try, especially when you haven't done something before. I'm sorry, that's just not realistic. Because <laughs> we are human, and that is okay. It's okay to make mistakes, guys. But you can see, I just persist until the job gets better. And I feel like that's what happens to a lot of people, is they just give up before they're done. <laughs> that they're doing just fine, they just don't realize it. So, you guys can do anything you come up with, you just have to have the patience to learn it. Okay, so that's too light. <laughs> Leslie, oh man. Well, I have a lot of experience with paint in general. Um, I've been painting the majority of my life, so um, I walked into that challenge already knowing how paint works. Now, I didn't know how mud works, but the thing is, is you know, pigment is pigment, you know. Um, I'm just going to go in here and lighten this up just a little bit while I'm over here. Um, okay, so I want... This eyebrow feels a little too light because of the um, surrounding darkness around it. So I'm going to mix in some of the Burnt Sienna to the Naples Yellow. And we're going to actually make a darker yellow mix. So it looks like, can you guys see this? Yeah, it looks like this. And I'm just going to go in. Just go right to the to the dark areas here, and we're gonna mix in some blue on the edge of that eyebrow. Let's mix in some of this here, just on the bottom, just to tie the two together. And also, this is a dark spot right here. Yes, I did. <laughs> it's the last video in my channel, Sahara. <laughs> Thank you, guys. 
it's getting there. So the the key also with acrylic is just layering. Layer, 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 just like pencils. Layer until you get what you're looking for. But the great news is, is acrylics are endless layering. Unlike pencils, which take up the tooth of the paper and then that's it, you're done. You, you're finite with the amount of layers you have. With acrylic paint, you can go over it as much as you need to, so it's much more forgiving. All right now I'm going to add in some more of that burnt sienna. Just right into that darker area of her eyebrows on this dark side of her face. Okay, that might look too orange, so that's okay. What we're gonna do is add in a little titanium white that's gonna knock down the opacity, I mean, sorry, the uh, saturation. So now I'm mixing in titanium white right straight to my burnt sienna. And then I just add just a tiny bit. So this is the color I've mixed here. Let's go over that again. Just a little too bright. So when you mix white into any color, it does change the saturation of the color. It makes it less saturated, a little bit washed out. Okay, so now let's mix in some blue, and you might be like, you're crazy, but the thing is, is we do have blue in the face, so I want to make, make sure we're consistent with that and mix blue in to the hair and the eyebrows as well. So I just added some cerulean blue in. Now we're just going on the shadow areas. So I'm going to have a light touch here with this and just sort of dry brush. Dry brush is when there's more paint than water on your brush. And just kind of pull up from the bottom here, soften that edge. The transition between that dark spot right here and her eyebrows now a lot softer starting to look a little better yeah it's getting there so let's take the same color i just want to you know i can see that outline so let's just get rid of that and while i have this nice color here on my brush before it dries let's let's also get rid of this outline here and this one here now, I'm not worried about the eyelashes. I do the eyelashes last. Alright, so the paint was starting to dry on the brush, so I had to clean it off. But we have some more on our palette, so let's keep going. So I just dip my brush again. And because I think this color is a great match. So let's go ahead. Now, these are standing out. So there's a couple ways you can approach it. I'm going to I'm going to paint them. Um, I'm not getting rid of them completely. So my aim with this, you can you know um, just smooth out that side of her face if you want to. My aim with this is to take the drawing and just enhance it by getting rid of the outlines. I'm not aiming to change her work here, but. If you want to, there's nothing wrong with that as well. So I mix some white in just to get that brightness of the edge that I have on the, this cheek area. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joe Beth. I think I may have said that already, but if I didn't, Sorry, zoning out. <laughs> okay, I need to spray my palette or it's going to dry. So let's do that. Okay. 
Now, after you first spray it, it's going to definitely be more watery, but that's okay. Um, it does, um, it, I mean, it's necessary. Either, either you have too dry or too wet. So it's all about maintaining your palette. Um, you will get a sense of it over time, how much water to add to your paint to get a certain texture and consistency. Um, it's all part of the learning process. See, now it's a little too watery, so I may have to go over it again. That's okay. Um, I would rather too watery than dried up, so it's just... It's just fine. No problem. And just getting rid of this outline makes a huge difference in how flat it looks versus how much dimension she has. So I'm going to put a little bit of highlight now that I'm seeing that outline gone. Just a little bit of highlight on this lip in the same color blue. You might think, why blue? But it's funny how once you, once you change some things, you can kind of see where you need to, to add. And Oh, I'm sorry, I'm off camera. Oh! <laughs> Good morning, Faithful. I don't think we have any mods here. That's all right. Have a great day. So again, just using the same color, I'm going to go down, I need some more, Boop. there we go, let's see, can you guys see? Getting there slowly but surely. So she looks a little funny because she doesn't have any eyebrow uh, eyelashes right now for the most part. But I, I want to get rid of this this line too, and I have I think just the right color to do it. So I'm just gonna again just ignoring her eyelashes completely. I'm just gonna go over that line right there, and also this bit on her eyelid. And I know it looks funny, I get it, but we'll put the eyelashes back in. It's just so much easier to do that at the very, very end. Okay. <laughs> so now she looks hairless, which, you know, isn't too weird for a mermaid, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need any mods. Thank you, though. <laughs> if we get a troll, I'll definitely upgrade you. Um, but I think we're, I think we're fine. <laughs> Thank you so much though for the offer. <laughs> uh, you know, I think that, that this uh, morning stream is just too early for the trolls to come out. They're all sleeping still. Okay, so the only spot left on the face where we have some dark outlines I want to um, get rid of is this area here. So I'm mixing the Oh, what happened? 